after completing the design phase, we now continue to the mill phase. The milling preview is presented. We also have a tool wheel at our disposal. We can either alter the position of the restoration within the block, such as to adapt the color gradient or change the position of the sprue, by rotating the block to allow for our own particular preference. We can adjust the milling option. For example, select fast milling or veneer mode, which we do not need in this case, and initiate the milling process via the start button. The software now shows us which block to use in the milling unit. This message is also displayed on the milling unit. The milling process can be started either on the milling unit itself or here in the software. Now the milling time is calculated and displayed. The milling process is now completed. The milled restoration can now be removed. We now activate the restoration on tooth 2-2. The milling preview of the veneer is now computed. Using the side panel, we activate the visibility of the upper jaw so that we can view and evaluate the color gradient in relation to the model. Using the tool wheel, we select Rotate and turn the block accordingly. We start the milling process, place a block in the unit, and wait until the milling process is completed. Following milling, the restoration can be finished in the usual manner.